Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm so sorry that I haven't uploaded, like my life is just crazy at the moment, but I've found time to shoot this video for you. This trick is super easy to do. There is no hard sleight of hand and it's pretty falling for the layman, okay? So remember the cards are getting shuffled up. That's very important. So the cards can be shuffled up just like so. That wasn't a very good one, but you get the gist, okay? And we do need a prediction. And my prediction I'm going to take out, for example, this one's going to be this card right here. Nobody knows what that card is except from me. And the cards have been shuffled. You're going to instruct your spectator to cut these cards into three piles. One, two, and three. And you're going to tell them to turn the cards over. So we have a jack, an eight, and a five. So three random cards. And what we're going to do, we're going to actually count these cards. So for example, we've got a jack. That represents 11. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we've got two piles, so we'll add a card in each pile. We'll do the same with the eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and add a card in each pile. And same with the five, one, two, three, four, five, and add a card on each pile. So if you think about these, the cards I've all been mixed up before we started. The spectator cut into three random piles. They cut to a three, sorry, a jack, an eight, and a five. Then we actually counted to these cards. So before we actually did all that, I took a one card out of the prediction. And my prediction was an ace. And hopefully you guys managed to cut to one, two, three, four aces. This trick, guys, it's super easy to do. No sleight of hand, and you'll be able to do it right away. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here's a tutorial of the effect, guys. So there is a little setup what we need to do. So you're going to take any random five. Okay, so I'm using the five of spades. Then any three random cards. So these are just any three random cards. Followed by your three aces. Okay. And one of the aces is going to go inside the center of the pack. So one more time. Any, any ace will go inside the center. And then you take out your five. Then three random cards. These cards doesn't matter. Make sure you've got the five at the top. Followed by three aces, okay? And then an ace inside the center of the pack. And all these cards are gonna go on top. And that's the setup. So now the setup is being done, what you're going to do is, well, this is optional. You can give the cards a shuffle, but basically you're gonna keep the seven cards in the exact same position, okay? So what I mean by that is, if you know any false shuffles, you can execute them, but just keeping making sure you don't shuffle these top seven cards. Make sure they are staying there and you can do what you wish, okay? This is what I was doing, giving it a little table riffle shuffle and they're spreading it so it looks like they're getting mixed, but secretly I'm keeping these cards on top. I have taught quite a few false shuffles, keeping them cards at top, but making sure uh, they stay in that, in that position, okay? So... Your setup's still at the top, and what's going to happen is you're going to take the cards and you're going to take out that first ace. Okay, that ace is right here. Take the ace out and say, that's my prediction. Don't tell them what you've taken out, just take it out. Then you're going to give the cards to the spectator, and you're going to tell them to give the card a cut. So you're going to make three piles, so give them a cut. And what we're going to do, we're going to be looking at this top card, keeping our eye on this top card. So if I turn it over, I will say, you wouldn't turn it over in performance, but you say, uh, just uh, give them a cut any way you wish. Brilliant. And then give them a cut as well. Done. Super, super easy. And the best way I do, the best way to do this is, I will say, you just give them a cut, just more than half, and they will, and give them a cut in half as well. So this five is always going to be to your right. Okay. So we know the five's there. We don't tell them that. We turn these cards over to show the spectator that these cards are all completely random. So now you're going to start off with the left pile with the queen. It doesn't matter what we do. You can spell queen or count to 12 if you wish. But 
you might look at your cards and think, I haven't got 12 cards. It doesn't matter. But let, let's say you want to spell it. So you're going to go Q-U-E-E-N. And then you're going to place a card on these piles. So one on here and one on here. And drop the remainder on the left side. Do the same with the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then drop a card on both piles. Drop the pack. And do the same with five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then drop a card on both of those piles and the remainder goes on top. Trust me, guys, that is it. The trick's done. They don't know what's happened. You just go through and explain what's happened. You shuffle the card. You've done this. We dealt them cards. We did that. And then bring out your prediction. Show your prediction as an ace. And then turn these cards over to show that they are four races or they found the four races this trick is super easy and you'll be able to do this right away so i'm going to go through this one more time go through a little recap for you and then hopefully you'll be able to do it easy so let's go through a recap one more so time. remember guys any random five it doesn't matter what five it is then place three random cards on top so five three random cards and then three aces one two three they're going to go to the top of the deck. This ace of diamonds, or what no matter what ace it is, is going to go inside the center. You're set up. You're ready to go. So you can give them a false shuffle, false cuts if you wish. I'm not going to. Okay, you turn the card over. So I'm going to take out a prediction card and take out an ace. Okay, that's the only ace in the center. You turn the cards over and you tell them to cut the cards in half or just more than half. And then cut these again in half. You're going to turn the top cards over, just like so. We know the five's here. Now you tell them to take the first pile and just count eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to place a card on either pile. And then the remainder is going to go onto the left packet. You do the same with the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to drop a card on either pile, and the remainder goes on top. Again with the five, one, two, three, four, five, and then drop a card on either pile, and then the remainder goes on top. Guys, it's already done. The trick is done. You show them your prediction, show an ace, and they found the four aces. So that's the recap, guys. Yes, it's not the hardest trick of the world. I just wanted to bring something easy for you guys. I know there's a lot of people out there who struggle with hard sleight of hands, getting breaks. This, you don't have to do anything. Just a few dealing procedures and you find the four races. But that, my friends, is the tutorial of the effect.